a proper way to move iMovie projects into an external hard drive to save space. In this tutorial, I will tell you what to do and what not to do. When you check your storage, you might find iMovie libraries taking up a lot of space. In case you don't know the location of the iMovie project, let me show you how to find it. Go to Finder. On the menu bar, click Go. Then click Home. Perhaps you see something like this. Or you might see something like this. Or this. But whatever it is. Go into Movies. Then you find this iMovie library. You can right click on this. Click Show Package Contents. Ah, here is it. I can see what I'm looking for. YTM4 pre launch. I double click into it. But wait, slow down, sit still. I'm gonna tell you what not to do. Listen, you cannot move these files and folders to anywhere else. You cannot copy and delete them either. I learned this lesson in a hard way. In the rest of the video, as title indicates, we will be learning the proper way to move or back up the iMovie projects. If you just want to save space, you can copy the entire iMovie library, disconnect your external hard drive, and remove the original projects with the iMovie application. I'm going to show you the details. First step, copy this iMovie library, I mean the entire package, not the individual content, alright? Connect the external hard drive to your computer. Alright, mine is connected. I'm gonna copy the entire iMovie library into a hard drive. You can either drag and drop or copy. And paste. I'm gonna wait for the copying to complete. Second step, after copying, either disconnect your external hard drive or don't do anything. Third step, open the iMovie. Click the projects button. Show the list of all projects. Make sure these projects are stored on a local computer instead of external hard drive. Then delete these projects one by one. Then quit the iMovie app. I think that's it. Now I'm gonna check the size of the iMovie library that's on my computer. It's only 90k now. Reduce from 10 gig to 90k. Next, on my external hard drive, I'm gonna find out a copy of iMovie library. Open it up. Seems my project is intact and without any damage. Click Create Element. I'm gonna add the second letter. Back to the project list. Now I'm gonna add the second. Alright, all the other projects still look healthy. Well, this is a copy of my iMovie projects on the external hard drive. I'm gonna disconnect my external hard drive and reconnect it. See if it's still there. All right, here's the copy. I'm gonna check the size. 
and gig. That makes sense. Well, if your purpose is just to move the iMovie projects into an external hard drive to save space on your computer, then that is it. I've told you how. But, you know, all the projects are packed in the same library altogether. You can actually put those projects into separate libraries. I have another video on the proper way to split iMovie library and separate iMovie projects from each other. Stay tuned, I'll see you there.